you're a fan of 13 Reasons Why, JK Rowling, or perhaps Margaret Atwood, stay tuned because I have some big news for you coming up. So despite it being labelled as unhealthy and dangerous for younger viewers, they've actually announced that there's going to be a second season of 13 Reasons Why, which is the TV series um, currently on Netflix that's based on Jay Ash's book of the same name. The second season, it's going to contain 13 one hour long episodes, just like the first season, um, but we don't know who the cast is going to be yet. Expect it in 2018. So on the anniversary of the Battle of Hogwarts, which is May 2nd every year, J.K. Rowling actually apologizes for the characters that she brutally has killed off in her Harry Potter series. And this year, she apologized for killing off Snape. Whether you love or hate Snape, that post actually got a lot of traction. So there were 95,000 retweets and 230,000 likes on Rowling's post. So Dragon Keeper, which is the first book in Carol Wilkinson's children's fantasy series, is actually going to become an animated film. Set in ancient China, what we have is this orphan girl whose mission is actually to protect the last remaining dragon in existence and its special purple stone. Want to know what people are buying, reading, and loving this week? Listen up. Number 10, No Middle Name by Lee Child. Number 9, Depends What You Mean by Extremist by John Saffron. Number 8, The Dark Prophecy by Rick Riordan. Number 7, A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. <laughs> Number six, 10 Things Girls Need Most by Steve Bidul. Number five, The Australian Bird Guide by Peter Menkhorst. Number four, Intergalactic Gas by Aaron Blaby. Number three, Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls by Alana Favilli and Francesca Cavallo. Number two, Work Strife Balance by Mia Friedman. Number one, The Barefoot Investor by Scott Pape. So SBS On Demand is actually gonna be streaming the TV adaptation of Margaret Atwood's the Handmaid's Tale from July 6th. So if you, if you don't know much about The Handmaid's Tale, it's this um, book that was originally published in 1985 and it's set in this dystopian, not too distant future where women are stripped of all their rights and their one purpose is pretty much to breed. This TV adaptation, it's got an all-star cast. We've got Elizabeth Moss from Mad Men. We've got Alexis Bledel from Gilmore Girls, and Samira Wiley from Orange is the New Black. So remember, July 6th, SBS On Demand. 11 books in Anne Rice's best-selling gothic romantic vampire chronicles are actually going to be adapted into a TV series. Did you ever watch Interview with a Vampire, that 1994 film with um, Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise? Well, that is actually an adaptation, a movie adaptation of the first book in the Vampire Chronicles. So if you love that movie, you're going to love the TV series. So the 2017 Miles Franklin Literary Award just announced its long list. Now, this award champions Australian writing that is of the highest literary merit and which kind of features Australian life in, in all its phases. Check out the long list on the Booktopian. If you're an aspiring author and you've written some fiction or narrative non-fiction, I want you to submit your manuscript to the Rochelle Prize. Because if you win, you'll get $10,000 and you'll be mentored for 12 months by the bookish experts at Hachette Australia. You don't need to send through a completed manuscript, just a couple of chapters will do. Check out their full guidelines on their website.